with an unsettling trend impacting schools here in the two Virginias and beyond. Threats targeting schools being made on social media. So far, twice this week, those threats have been leveled in the region, triggering a police response. It leaves parents and children concerned. Our Robert Castillo sits down and talks with one investigator about the recent threats that are now being labeled unsubstantiated. School leaders and law enforcement have been on high alert in nearly half a dozen school systems in the two Virginias this week. Social media threats triggered the response. Police are saying the threats were fake, but the fear that spread like wildfire across social media platforms was real. The ominous messages leave many people on edge. In the wake of the very real and deadly school shooting at Appalachia High School in Georgia just last week. The one is a screenshot uh, that was that um, I saw personally that was posted on Facebook, but the screenshot uh, is from TikTok. There's no context uh, to the screenshot. It just has an alphabetical list of some of the schools uh, in and outside of this county. Um, and then the, the posts that were being circulated uh, indicated that there was a threat to all these schools. Schools from Mercer County to Raleigh County, Tazewell County and beyond reacted to threats posted by posting more police on their campuses. At least twice this week following what's now labeled bogus threats. Lieutenant Summers says while it's good to monitor social media for threats, people should prioritize reporting them to police first instead of fueling fears with mass sharing on social media. He says reach out to authorities first so they can begin investigating. When we're on social media and we share things, um, and we're not clear on what it is, but we, you know, s you know, see something, say something, doesn't mean sh we need to share it on social media. Call the sheriff's office, call the state police, um, call, I mean, s call somebody. Summer says sharing a post only makes it harder for investigators to track down the person who placed the original threat. Summer says the quicker you report something threatening, the quicker they can get to the bottom of determining if it's legitimate or not. Here for you in Mercer County, I'm Robert Castillo, WVVA News. Thank you for that report, Robert. And Lieutenant Summers says if someone is caught making threats to schools on social media, they could face a slew of charges, including terrorism, and those charges could be felonies. Ben? Thank you, Martin. The